Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to show you how to prepare Top Solid 7 for use with the standard Vice tutorial that ships with your software. Uh, another place you might have found this tutorial is on the website as well. Either way, these instructions are the same. Uh, to begin, I'm going to go up to my Tools tab, click on the little drop down menu, and go to Options. I could as well have gone to the icon too. From here, I want to check to see what unit of measure I'm in. For example, maybe we want to work in metric, so I'll choose metric. Next, I'm going to go back to my home tab and open up the standard project. So I'm going to go to my projects manager and I'll scroll up my list here and I'm going to go find my standard tutorials directory. In this directory, you can see I have listed two projects. One is vice millimeters and one is vice inches. This tutorial is available for both units of measure. I'm going to go to Vice Millimeters and then double click to open that project. And as you can see here, my project is open on the side, right side of my screen. From here, if I go look under Templates, for example, I'll see that I have some draft templates. If I look under Defaults, I have some default part and assembly templates as well. And just to show you a few things here, I'm going to open up my assembly template. So when I double click on assembly template, you can see that it loads my template. As well, what I'd like to do is point out some objects up here in the assembly tree. Uh, this first one is dynamic positioning. This is considered to be turned on during this tutorial, as well as show constraints. Uh, we're not using any wizards, but you can go ahead and leave that one turned on. And the way you turn them on and off is just to select them. Uh, automatic process can be left on, although we're not using those in these tutorials either. The one thing I do want to make sure you turn on is inclusion and last positioning. So make sure that this option is turned on in your assembly documents. From there, you can just go ahead and close this assembly. And there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to right mouse button click and just say close document. And like that, uh, everything is good to go for the assembly file. One other thing, let's go to our part file. And I want to check a few things here too. I want you to go to this drop down menu here and make sure everything is selected on yours just like ours is. Again, this tutorial assumes that these items are turned on and off, or off, excuse me. And like that, you can close this, and you're now ready to start this tutorial. Have fun, and I hope you learn a lot about Top Solid 7.